Hey guys, welcome back. On today's video, I'm doing my second pop-up sale of the year. I'm doing pork spare ribs with apple coleslaw, cornbread, pickles and onions. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so it's a warm night tonight here in Salt Lake City. I've got my fly fans going so they can help keep the flies away as I trim these spare ribs. We're doing full spare ribs. No St. Louis, no baby back. So let's go ahead and get them trimmed and ready for tomorrow. Alrighty guys, I got those spare ribs in the fridge, nice and trimmed. I threw a little apple cider vinegar on top to help tenderize that meat. So, they'll sit there like that overnight. Tomorrow morning, we'll season them and then throw them in the smoker. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so it's 8.30 here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm gonna go ahead and get these ribs seasoned and then put them in the smoker. So let's get to it. We're gonna put them all facing down. I trimmed these last night as you saw, it helps not be so stressed in the morning because these are trimmed and ready to be seasoned and then put in the smoker. I'm gonna do the back side first so when I flip them the presentation side top side is nice and ready. That one's a little wet my go-to black pepper kosher salt we're gonna hit him with that I'm just going the other direction now, just because. I'm just gonna hit it with a little Goldie's all-purpose rub, just a tiny little sprinkle on top.
so guys i usually do like a mustard binder but yesterday i well after i seasoned these guys i sprinkled some apple cider vinegar on them to help tenderize that meat and so they're wet enough i didn't need another binder this one needs a little more This side will also sprinkle some of that goldies, all season, all purpose, I mean. It <laughs> sounds like a hotel brand, all seasons. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. Nine full spare ribs going on the Lost Custom Smoker, which I'm selling. So remember, if you need a smoker, check this one out. Check out my other video where I explain more about it. We're gonna go ahead and get them on the smoker and smoke them for about five hours. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, for this cook, I'm using a mix of apple and cherry and maple. Uh, since it is pork, I don't need that oak. So let's get to it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this down here. Let it rip. Let's go. Hey guys, these spare ribs have been in the smoker for three hours. I'm gonna go ahead and get them spritzed with a mix of half apple cider vinegar, half water. So let's get to it. This is gonna help that meat from not drying out. Give it, a, help it with the bark. Alrighty guys, those ribs are now nice and spritz. I'm gonna go ahead and put my heavy duty gloves and the plastic gloves and I'm gonna rotate the ribs around just so they can evenly cook. Alrighty guys, these ribs have been on the smoker for four hours. I'm gonna give them another spritz. Pretty soon here, I think I'm gonna start wrapping some of them in the foil with barbecue sauce and then taking them up another hour. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so it's been about four hours, like I said earlier. I spritzed them earlier. Now I'm going to throw some barbecue sauce on top and let that for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wrap them in foil and let them finish for another hour. Let's go.
Whew. Alrighty, so now they have been spritzed and a nice layer of barbecue sauce on top. In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna pull them out, wrap them in with barbecue sauce and foil and a little bit of brown sugar, and then wrap them, put them back on the smoker for about 45 minutes to an hour. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so I lost audio here, but basically I was saying I'm gonna wrap them with barbecue sauce and a little bit of brown sugar. And then I went ahead and got that foil with some barbecue sauce, a little bit of that brown sugar for that sweet kick. And then we get those ribs out. Look at the beautiful color on them. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Good bend right there. Flop, flop, flop. Oh, yeah. Spritzing them one last time. And then flip them over. Let's go. Give it another spritz. Some barbecue sauce. Shout out to Stubbs Barbecue Sauce. It's one of my favorites, easy to get, not really sweet, just perfect in my opinion. Straight out of Texas, wrapping those ribs in foil with that little karate chop. Boom, 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 getting those corners nice and tight without ripping the foil. Let's go, thumbs up. Here's a little time lapse so I don't bore you to death doing the same thing barbecue sauce brown sugar shout out to my wife for being an awesome videographer let's go check it out guys oh yeah we ran out of barbecue sauce let's go oh yeah oh yeah getting those last ribs done wrapping oh yeah that one's going back in let's go alrighty guys we've got those spare ribs wrapped in foil with barbecue sauce and a little bit of brown sugar. I'm gonna let them smoke for another 40, 45 minutes or so until they're a little more pliable, a little more tender to the touch. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, these ribs are ready. They tempt, they're nice and flexible. We're gonna take them out of the smoker and then let them rest and then we'll throw them in the food warmer. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, well that's a wrap. The spare ribs are smoked and now they're gonna rest. Thank you for watching, thank you for the support. It means a lot. My life has been uh, extremely blessed with barbecue. I find a lot of joy and passion behind it. So thank you for the support. Alrighty guys, so it's time to eat dinner. I made a rack for us to eat for dinner too because I can't smoke all day and then I'll be able to taste it. I'm gonna try to flip it without breaking it off the bones. There we go. I think a lot of you guys know this, but a good little trick when cutting ribs is to flip them so you can see where the bones are going. Sometimes you think they're going a different way than you're actually cutting. I'm gonna go ahead for this middle rib right here. Oh yes, 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 you see that? Juiciness. Oh boy. All right, I have to try it. Oh, 
peppery for sure. Wow. A lot of pepper. Wow. This is always a great mix with the barbecue sauce, a little sweet. The pepper's always there. And then you get this bite of salt here and there. Mm. Good sweet bite. A little heat from the pepper. Mm. That's good. That's a delicious rib in my opinion. I hope everyone who bought it likes it. Thank you for the support. See you next time.